Hello everyone, this is the Fresh Prince with our U4 Let's Play episode as Brandenburg. So, there we go. We're gonna have to expand eastwards, so we are gonna keep building a spy network here because... Oh, they're allied with Hungary again, interesting. But yeah, now they just became a lot weaker, so there's that. Meanwhile though, we gotta finish our colonialism here, which costs us a lot of points. But luckily we don't need the blow points as much anymore or the other ones. Okay, centralization is great. So we got that now and your army tradition decayed too. Now the autonomy in these lands is gonna drop massively because of centralization now. Which is very good. That's why I got it. Of course, uh, yeah, that's also fixed. I like centralization. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. All right, I really want these things, you know economic ideas because once they're fixed development will be so cheap and yeah I need to embrace colonialism but again it's gonna take a while hmm, and I might actually want to take this mill tech soon happening to Lithuania that's not good but Muscovy is massive wow they really expanded far of course they have converted some stuff but they have a lot of Sunni land okay so we annexed Hesse which is wonderful I have some troops but now I have too many we gotta delete three so three we delete is the infantry we keep the cab Okay, now we can make another state. Let's make this into a state. There we go. Should be slightly more income now. Okay. What must we do? Hmm. It's pretty bad. But we want the base production and stuff, so we'll take it. This did not boost. Huh, okay. I thought it would actually boost stuff, but it didn't. Okay, now we have like ability only. It's the only one that doesn't really like the situation. Okay, you know what? This would be great. Now demand the diplomatic stuff. Uh, the development cost would be really nice. So I wish I could have it increased, but hey, I can't. So might as well do this. Whoa. But it's fine. That gave us a lot of Diplo power, so it's worth it, I guess. Hmm. Meanwhile, we still have the guy that decreases our stuff here. And we have fully, finally converted everything, so we don't have to pay more money always good but oh looks like they're being converted on their own so that's good by centers of reformation okay what by which center of reformation oh, it must be this one is it mm, or is this one I have no idea is that considered nearby I have no idea <laughs> anyway No, it's converting to reformed. Well, 
Oh, it's reformed. <laughs> okay. Alright then. Well, I guess we gotta convert those. No, the religious zeal is horrible. So, I guess we're gonna have to keep them as is. It kind of hurts our church power and the rest, but still. We need missionary strength, and this guy is gonna provide us with the missionary strength, but oh, not even close to enough. So that's sad, but hey. Eh. Okay, now we need to start claiming stuff like, yeah, we want Königsberg, because that's really the one that we need. And of course, now because they converted thanks to the center of reformation, makes things really bad because they have religious zeal, right? So, oh, did we really lose that diplomat? We did, so now I can get a cheaper guy. Because getting a cheaper guy is much better. What? Huh, that's nice. Patience improved. Okay, Denmark still exists and looks like they lost their course here, which is good. Hmm. What's England doing here? They must have finished the war, right? They lost their land here, which is, I guess, fine. Now, they're allied with Sweden, and they have a truce with... Wow, lots of truces. Uh, oh, wow, they fought Naples, Castile, Aragon, and France. That sounds like a horrible alliance to fight against, you know? <clears throat> they, it was just England solely, wow. But they're gonna form UK, which is nice. Meanwhile, Ottomans here are not... They're at war with Karakwim and Shirvan. They're not as, as you know, as aggressive as I expected them to be, but hey, that's fine. Now, though, Poland declare war on Teutonics on their own. Oh, I really hope they don't steal anything, you know. Well, not anything, but, you know, most of the stuff. We gotta wait a while. Meanwhile, Austria is starting to not like us so much, so we really gotta make them like us more. There is some provincial unrest, but I really couldn't care less. Now, though, I need to... Really, there's... Oh, they started their trade league stuff again. Hmm. Which is fine, it's not that big anymore. So, it, as long, if we have Austria in this war... It should actually work out okay-ish. Now, how much is this? Probably too much to... Oh, no, actually, it could be vassalized. Austria would join in... Yeah, would join on the opposing side, of course. However, okay, if we go for Marienburg and Ermland... Yeah. It's holding Königsberg there is going to be difficult, but if we get Ermland as well... That is going to change things. Fabry getting claim is going to cost, cost us 35, wow. It's going to be a lot to spend. Meanwhile, the coalition tab here looks like AA is dropping, or AE rather. More production, where can we beef up stuff? Taxation, not much over here. Production, again, looks like here is the best place to beef it up. Now for manpower, looks like nowhere. Real heretic, really? No. Latinate will not like me. So I'll just do with how dare they, you know? Fretic royalty. That's not the worst that could happen. <clears throat> hmm. Nationalistic enthusiasm is a great thing that we're gonna get, and we really want that too, because it's gonna make us develop lands so much better really like it's necessary for sure it's gonna drop the cost by a lot okay worryingly light uh, diplomatic aid uh, managing guard yeah, yeah hopefully they give us some admin points Please give us some admin points, will ya? <laughs> no, broken promises. We broke our promises. Well, it serves us right, because we did the two to them, so, you know. <laughs> All 
Alright, August. And now I can take this. Very nice. Okay, now taking the... What? They called me? Okay. So I guess I can... I kind of have to help them, but yeah, our manpower reserves did not recover, so thanks. Austria just called me into this useless war. But I'm gonna go back and I'm not gonna help you, because hey, why would I do that? I want money. I want my money. But you can have my vassals, I guess. They'll help you. Anyway, Venice, yeah. What are you gonna take from them? Treviso, I guess? Maybe more, but... Would give you so much stuff. Hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> What's this gonna happen? Let's go for that, I guess, and see what happens, you know? The rival of our rival, so if Muscovy has to like us, hmm. Let's make Muscovy like us, I suppose? Is that what it's saying? Okay, I'll just fabricate a claim on like Rostock or something. Oh, Lundberg. These guys are growing even bigger. Yeah, we gotta get Rostock. Or Lübeck, you know? But we're gonna go for raw stock, I think. And we'll soon be able to definitely do that. Alright, so now we got a CB against those guys. So we can send them back. Can we do this with Muscovy? Well, it would help our situation, so why not? Then we got to do an alliance, I suppose, because that's going to beef our, you know, our relations even greater, even better. Next, we're going to improve our relations with them, of course. But I don't want to keep them an ally, I think. No, this general has left us. That's fine. They leave us all the time. Now, the favors should be increased, you know, after this uh, war. Because we did join them, and now Austria is going to have to survive this, but it looks like they lost that battle, which is peculiar, you know. Now they have to restart the Siege of Treviso from the get-go, and we just got this, which is good. Relations with East Frisia. Well, why would I do that? Conquer Silesia. Yeah, why not? I kind of want to take this land. What would it actually give me, though? Rewards, monthly autonomy change. Yes. Russian Ascendance, but again, we want Königsberg and these other lands. Now, Poland has a bunch of claims here, so it's kind of a problem, of course. Hmm. No, he's a sinner, really? Wait, what? Venice all, all, actually came all the way here? It's pretty bad. Gotta move away from here. That's not how I expected things to be, you know. We just lost so many guys. Because of our terrible morale. Like, how could they just walk up to us right there? That's not what I wanted. I guess, yeah, we need to actually go somewhere. No, 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 don't go like that. There we go. We're gonna stay there. I suppose. And we can get some tech, at least. This tech is kind of nice to get, but I would really, really prefer to embrace the institution, colonialism. Which could be possible if we keep beefing up this land here. Now, how much do we get of each power? Well, I'm gonna beef up the Diplo stuff first. Okay, so here the institution is not as close as I would like it to be, unfortunately. So gonna wait a while oh we messed it up because we're supposed to wait until like two more years and then we get really cheap development cost so we messed it up but that's fine I guess come on Austria I know you can siege it fast okay looks like they really oh they just crushed those guys and there they go conquest on Poland oh, okay they didn't take the land that I was what it sold the province it sold memo really huh it's funny. Well, now we can fabricate a claim on Ermland and we're gonna, you know, no longer a valid rival for me. Well, that 
Isn't that sad? Anyway, who are they allied with? Looks like just the Livonians, which is not a problem, really. Now, if we annex them, if we made them a vassal, they could gain tons of stuff. Hmm. But we want to core. Kingsburg and we want to be at peace, and we need our admin tech to go up. So there's that. But we will get the new government rank and we'll gain one base tax. In Ackermark, increase centralization, which is great. Get the Prussian monarchy, which is great. Permanent claim, yes. So that's lots of good stuff that we really get. So I, I want to go for them as soon as possible, you know. Okay, so I guess we got our dudes there. Now we could do this, but we'd be breaking a truce. The truce is... Ooh, they gained some stuff. Alright, so we have a bit of time. Now here, as for contribution. They're gonna give us some stuff, but I, it's not worth it. Now here they're gonna get more stuff. Give them more of that, and then we can... Nope, not worth it. Not worth it. Alright, so Austria, please finish this war really fast. So you're taking too long. Really taking too long. And I have some war exhaustion, you know. Which isn't... Totally not what I want, you know, so... Leave me alone. Alright, they discovered them now. What? It's Rebel Uprising? What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, we have to beef this up. We have some possible tech choices here, but it's not worth it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait very, very, like not a sh not a quick amount. And yeah, we gotta beef these guys up here. We're gonna make sure they like us. Oh, this is great! Extra admin power. So because of that, we now get this. Doing disaster, aristocratic coup because of the influence of the nobility. Wonderful, not. Okay, so now we beefed all of that up. So what we can do is, well, we need this mill tech, which is going to happen in like December of next year. But okay, we don't need it. All right. So I'm going to drop the maintenance because we kind of need to. And oh, these guys are at, oh, that's bad. It's really bad. Where are they going to spawn as well? It's Berlin, right? I imagine. Oh, what? Whoa. He came there wanting to attack us. So it's fine that we actually ran away. That we made the smarter choice. For once. Now, Rekam isn't so great at all. That is a definite problem that we have to fix. Really? No longer considers us a rival? Are we really that weak compared to, uh, to them? Okay, so we finished that. This is great. Now we can drop this. If we look at corruption, religious unity isn't the best. But is that a problem? No. We get the better relations over time, guy. And we fix some of the problems. And we're, we should be able to embrace the... You know, if everything goes according to plan... It's heretical? Inquisitor? W will we kill the Inquisitor? Mm, no, I do not want to do that. Or do I now? Hmm. Well, you know, we finished economic ideas, so we're gonna kill him. Right. There we go. Now we probably want the other guy. And because we just did that, well, one thing we could do is... Well, we really need that tech, first, first of all. Or do we, though? Hmm. There's no rush. Might as well just beef this up, you know? A tad, and then beef up this. So it's now present in Berlin. We actually beefed it up a bit too much, you know? What, really? Did they do this? Okay. We have call for peace, but it's not... Come on, Austria, you gotta do this. You gotta peace out with Venice. It's taking too long. Taking way too long, okay. Actually, on nine tech, but so are they. So, hmm. 
Anyway. It was not actually as expensive to beef it up as before, which is great, because now colonialism is now present in Berlin. So the one way to fix stuff is to now embrace it. Okay, we, we have this guy we can now take. That's good. Call for peace still is a thing. We need rival. Okay. Can always humiliate them. It's not a problem. Oh, never mind. France would join them. So that's not a good thing. But why? Oh, really? France is defender of the faith. Wow. That's annoying. France would also join these guys. Yeah, fighting in another war, so everybody hates this and war exhaustion and stuff. Okay, that's fine. So we can't attack those guys because France is a defender of the faith. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Now, Austria, please finish your war. Please finish your damn war, Austria. There we go. So they took a lot of their stuff. Now we need another enemy, you know? And for that, you know, it's... Is it gonna be these guys? Have they mentioned me as a rival? No. It's going to be the Platinate? No, because... That's funny, because we're allied to them. The next guy... Not Austria, because we need them. Has to be Poland, I guess. Probably. Yes. Bohemia and Denmark. Okay. We have to rival Poland. So that we can eventually beat them, you know? So there we go. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on social media. I'll see you next time.